Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, Mercedes, the filly who runs like a high-end vehicle, facing 10 rivals in the Barbados Guinness, the Triple Crown Series opener at the Garrison Savannah. The favorites, Rhythm Buzz and the Liga Light Trophy. And get a Pepsi in the Temperance Oaks Trophy. Land the main events on a contentious weekend of Jamaican racing at Caymanus Park. In TNT, another feature race win for champion trainer John O'Brien, but not the entry from his barn that most fans expected. Plus stakes wins up north for Barbadian jockeys, Patrick Husbands at Woodbine in Canada, and Rashawn Latchman at West Virginia's Charlestown Racetrack. Plus the usual check-in on Caribbean success in North America. Opening story coming from Barbados. 11 runners entered for the Barbados Guinness first leg of the country's Triple Crown Series at the Garrison Savannah. Almost half of this good field, five of them actually. Winners last time out, including the favorite, number seven, Mercedes. This filly on a three-race winning streak and undefeated as a three-year-old with a 42-year-old veteran jockey Ricky Walcott aboard for trainer Richard Dean. US 18,000 the purse plus subscriptions totaling 22,500 Barbados dollars for the classic. Mercedes in the seven box as the odds on favorite at three to five for the 7.8 furlong trip, a distance at which she has never lost. Based on the betting, her main rivals are number one, the five to one shot, Moshara, who was runner up to Mercedes in the Michael Parapicino Breeders. Number two, Heroes Day and the three horse San Antonio, both at seven to one. And number six, Delilah at eight to one. A competitive run in the early stages, the 12 to one bet Showtime had set the early fractions chased by Delilah and a group that included Ashbridge, Mushara, San Antonio, and Queen of the South. Mercedes sat mid-pack in about sixth, but in a sweeping move, was already in charge coming off the final bend. And Mercedes, in a blink of an eye, has opened up their light to Showtime. Lush is staying on in third, and there are no more turns in the guineas. And Mercedes, in the middle of course, is in front by four. Lush is trying to close, more shower on the rails. But you can sing this field the lullaby. They have been put to bed. Mercedes in a romp. Just a couple of left-handed cracks of the whip early in the home stretch from Jockey Walcott. After that, just a matter of steering this talented filly home. Owned by Stephen Jardine and Curlin Felician, who is also her breeder and groom, Mercedes by Aston Martin out of the Janak Mir Janaki, becomes the second filly in a row to win the Guinness following last year's win by Let It Be Me, who was also ridden by Ricky Walcott. Trainer Richard Dean, no stranger to winning big ones. He is a former Sandalane Gold Cup winner, but this is his first win in a three-year-old classic. we have been waiting for it for a long time. The type of two-year-olds and three-year-olds that I have now have improved, and this is a fantastic little filly, so I'm extremely happy with her and extremely happy with winning the Guineas. The Guineas was marred by a three-horse spill on the final bend. The horses Delilah and Ashbridge had to be euthanized after injuries from the fall, while jockey Anderson Trotman, the rider aboard Ashbridge, dreadfully on his 48th birthday, suffered a leg fracture and concussion and is due to have surgery this week. Mercedes for her fourth win in a row lands the Barbados Guinness as the 3 to 5 favorite chased by the 14 to 1 shot Luscious and the 5 to 1 bet Mushara scoring by two and a half lengths and clocking 1 minute 37 and 3 fifths for 7.8 furlongs and Dean now targets the triple crown. It would be extremely important for me to carry the $100,000 bonus if you win all three. So I would be very, very happy for Curlin Felician and Stephen Jardine if this filly could do the triple. And we will continue to cover Dean and the Mercedes connections on their Triple Crown journey. Now to conflict at Jamaica's Caymanus Park, where two races on Saturday were abandoned as the Jamaica Racing Commission effected its recent warnings of clamping down on lengthy post-time delays. The racing promoters, Supreme Ventures Racing and Entertainment Limited, not pleased and calling on the government to get involved. Meanwhile, Saturday's main event was the Legal Light Trophy race honoring the brilliant Hall of Fame inductee, 1977 Derby winner and twice horse of the year, 1978 and 79. And it was champion jockey Ryan Lewis grabbing the lead with a favorite rhythm buzz coming off the final bend. And here's where the race as a contest ended. Out in front, further and beyond, caught now by a rhythm buzz kicking in on the outside and rhythm buzz now takes charge at the top of the lane further and beyond does he have anything left as they arrive at the final 316 and a rhythm buzz now begins to assert and begins to pull away further and beyond the closest pursuer the rest are all out of it but they've left the furlong pole this is the legal light trophy and it's all over 
rhythm buzz, Ray and Lewis are romping it and beginning to go further and further away from further and beyond. Rhythm buzz wins it by maybe eight. Ace commentator Brian Rickman with a call. The Piaget Stables four-year-old colt Rhythm Buzz makes it look easy for his third trophy win in a row. Four wins in his last six starts now for this Vincent Atkinson trained racer, adding this trophy win to victories he had in the Henry Jagai and Bonnet Blue flag events earlier this year. Rhythm Buzz by nine and a quarter lengths as the four to five favorite. The six to five bet further and beyond after setting the pace a distant second here. The winning time for the 9.1 furlong Liga Light Trophy, 157 and 3 fifths. Still at Caymanus Park, Sunday's feature was a Temperance Oaks Trophy, saluting Jamaica's 1997 Horse of the Year, and it closed a five timer for hot jockey Radish Roman, the 25 year old, comfortably in front here aboard the 2 to 1 favourite, Get a Pepsi. They charge up now inside the final 3 16th, and they're all staring at the back end of a fleet footed Get a Pepsi, who will arrive at the furlong pole with a clear lead. All for Love now trying to reel the leader in, but it's Get a Pepsi by three or more. All for Love continues the challenge inside the final 16th. It is Get a Pepsi out in front. Get a Pepsi will hand Radish Roman his fifth winner on the card. Get a Pepsi emphatically snaps an eight race winless streak after winning three straight races last summer. Jockey Radish Roman in sizzling form, getting a fifth win of the afternoon. Following a four time of the previous weekend, 10 wins in three race days now for Roman. Jacqueline Banks and Akila Otis get a Pepsi by four lengths in the Temperance Oaks Trophy as a two to one favorite, chased by All for Love and the 55 to one outsider, Justin Biden. 121 and four fifths the winning time for six and a half furlongs and closing a double for trainer Errol Burke. Now to Trinidad and Tobago, where the Arima Race Club staged on Saturday the fourth race day of the year at Santa Rosa Park, featuring an appearance by the Triple Crown winner last year in the headlines. As usual, champion trainer John O'Brien, a dominant presence with three of the six starters in this three-year-old and over six and three-quarter furlong run for horses rated 80 and lower. O'Brien's in the headlines in the hands of 57-year-old ex-champion jockey Ricky Jadu taking over from stablemate Superbird, approaching the final bend and watched in the com box by John Rupert. 400 meters to go and the triple crown winner is doing this nicely as she comes into the home stretch here, leader by five lengths in the headlines, is pulled clear. Marvel Vega in a battle for second. Princess Aruna is starting to run on late as usual. Then comes Leonardo Angel and stroke of luck late inside the final 200 meters. And in the headlines is holding on. But here comes Princess Aruna with that deep closing kick. Princess Aruna up in time. Fine ride here by champion apprentice Tristan Phillips having saved ground throughout on the rail before going into the two path to successfully challenge to do aboard the favorite. After six winless races, Mitra Sam Lal's Princess Aruna back in the winner's enclosure for her first victory since winning the Independence Cup last August when Tristan Phillips was also aboard. The victory margin three quarters of a length as the five-year-old mare snatches the win as the nine to five second favorite. Second in the headlines, winless in six starts now since completing the Triple Crown with a double win last September. In a one-two finish for champion trainer John O'Brien, Princess Aruna clocks 123.54 for the win. Closing now with those overseas wins for Barbadian jockeys Rashawn Latchman and Patrick Husbands, who was named last week for induction this summer into Canada's Racing Hall of Fame. With over 6,300 wins in Canada and the USA, here's the super jock Husbands in the yellow cap aboard the favorite Midnight Mascot coming through to land Sunday's Woodstock Stakes on the first weekend of racing for the new Woodbine season in Toronto. Adios now by a length and three quarters down the outside. It's still Naptown trying desperately with Midnight Mascot. Adios now in front. Midnight Mascot finding enough is coming up on the outside and had a lot there to get up and take over late. Wins the Woodstock Stakes for Patrick Husbands. Perfect timing as Husbands rouses the favorite to call the brave front running six to one shot. Adios now. A record eight time winner of the Sovereign Award as Canada's most outstanding jockey. Husbands, after a couple of wins at Florida's Gulfstream Park in recent weeks, starting the new Woodbine season with a bang. A whopping 367 stakes wins this for Patrick Husbands, who turns 51 years old later this month. Midnight mascot by three quarters of a length wins the Woodstock stakes for champion trainer Mark Cassie, clocking 110.71 for the six furlong sprint. Just about 400 miles to the south of Toronto, Barbadian jockey Rashawn Latchman 
was at West Virginia's Charlestown, landing his first stakes win of the year with this outside run aboard the 6-1 bet overnight powwow in the four and a half furlong it's been too long stakes just outside the eighth pole and here comes overnight powwow up alongside of j-lo diamond overnight powwow takes the lead j-lo diamond is back to second lona lee is third but it's overnight powwow just like her big sister overnight powwow rashawn latchman had two weekend wins at charlestown he confidently rides overnight powwow to victory in Saturday's It's Been Too Long Stakes, a 13th stakes win in the USA this for Latchman as his mount covers the four and a half furlong sprint in 52.25 seconds for trainer Cynthia Mackey. Our usual tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA and Canada now. In the past week since our last show, I've counted 32 victories. Among them, the Barbadian jockey Rocco Boyne with four wins between Oakland Park and Thistledown and the Jamaican jockey Romero Ramsey Mirage. He had three wins at Aqueduct. A big weekend coming up in racing. The Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr., who had four wins in Florida this past weekend, has the 30-1 shot catalytic in the Kentucky Derby. And in Jamaica, the Portmore and Kingston Guineas prep races are on this weekend. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of Kings. Check us out again next week.